Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to take a look at the latest software update that gives you the March 1st security patch. And this update was pushed off to the Galaxy S23 series, the Galaxy S20 series, as well as the A53 5G. Now we will get this thing installed, take a look at a few different apps and services to see if we can see any brand new versions. But we're also gonna take a look at all of this security updates. You can take a look at what was pushed off on the Google side of things, which was right around 50 different patches or vulnerabilities some of them critical, some of them high. And then we're going to take a look on the Samsung side of things to see if we can kind of read into a few of these to see what they are fixing. You know, some of them is talking about Bluetooth. Some of them talk about auto power off and power on. Uh, something with security settings. We're also taking a look at phone status bar policy and a few other things. But basically, let's just go through. Let's get this thing updated. And I can show you where you can see that past screen that I just showed you. So first off, let me show you where you can find your update. You just want to go inside of your settings, go inside of software update. Then you want to go to download and install. And this is where you can see this little update. Now there's really nothing written right here other than just the security of your device has been improved. A software update can include, but not limited to device stability improvements, bug fixes, and or uh, enhanced features. So there's really nothing new or enhanced probably with this update, mostly just vulnerabilities and bug fixes, which we kind of saw. So what I'm going to do is just hit on this install now, and then we're going to take a look just in case if there is a few different different versions of applications out there. We'll also take a look at the Galaxy Store, see if there's anything new that popped up. Originally in the Galaxy Store, there was two that I was able to update before this update. We'll see if there was some added. And then I'm gonna show you that really cool screen that we just took a look at so you can see what all is being updated in, term in terms of bug fixes and vulnerabilities. Everything is pretty much all broken down. You have to read between the lines on a few different things to see what they're talking about, but I'll kind of show that off a little bit in this video. But it's at this point in the video, I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So the update is done and complete. How about we go through a few of the applications and services I took a look at before the update just to see if there was any newer versions. So let's first take a look inside of the camera. Now before the update, it used to be 13.1.0.1.17. 13.1.0.1.17, so that's the same version there. We'll also take a look inside of the regular Samsung Home. Now before this update, this one was sitting at 14.1.0.2.1. 141021, so no update there. I will take a look inside of Samsung Gallery, see if there's any newer versions here. With this one, it used to be 141031, 141031, so so far no changes here. Uh, and then let's just take a look at Samsung Internet. Now, I always like just to take a look at some of these applications just to see if there is any newer versions because none of these are really written anywhere else, but it's always fun just to take a look. This one used to be 200310. 20.0.3.10. So in terms of the applications I took a look at, there is no newer versions. Now we're going to take a look inside of the Galaxy Store, see if there's any newer applications we can now do. Now taking a look inside of the Galaxy Store, before this update, there was two I was able to do, which I think was Samsung Notes and something else. It looks like that there is now three after this update. So it used to be Samsung Cloud and Samsung Notes before the update. After I've updated, I can see that there is now an update for the Auto Doodle. So we're just going to go through hit on, uh, you know, uh, install or update on those ones. So that is why it's always good to take a look at the Galaxy Store to see if there's any, you know, services or applications you can update, even though I do go through a few of them right after the update to see if there is some. Sometimes they just put it right inside the Galaxy Store. So now to take a look at that page or the website of where you can read everything for this update, if it's, you know, the bug fixes, the vulnerabilities, if it's critical, moderate, high, things like that, just go inside your settings and you want to tap on About Phone. Now, inside of About Phone, you want to tap on Software Information. And once you're inside of Software Information, you go to the very bottom, and there's the Android Security Patch level uh, that gives you, you know, the Security Patch of March 1st. When you tap on it, it actually takes you to the source, the little documentation of all of these updates. Now, I have not shown this in the past videos. Uh, this was something that I accidentally stumbled upon. Uh, quite a while ago. I didn't really go too far in depth with it, but then with this update, I was trying to actually just exit. I tapped it and I wanted to actually, you know, investigate more. You can actually read everything right in here, but just to show you below, there's some um, Android stuff going on. You got the Pixel stuff going on, the Chromecast stuff going on. So because we are with Samsung, all you have to do is on the very top one, you tap on read. And then underneath this, you just want to go inside of Samsung because that's the Samsung, you know, that's the device that we have, the manufacturer. Now you can take a look at the past patch notes. So you can take a look at January, February, but here we are with March. Now this, this very first portion right here, uh, the SMR, which is the security maintenance release, 
everything that's on the very top up here is from Google. So this is the Google side of things, which is right around about 50 or 60 different things uh, that's been fixed in, uh, with this update. So there's some of them that are critical, some that are high, none of them that are moderate. Now there are a few of these that are listed above that were already included in previous updates. And then there are a few of them that are listed up over here uh, that is actually not applicable for Samsung devices. So there is a few kind of taken off from this list, but again, that is quite a few. So you might wanna do this update. There's critical, there's some high, nothing moderate. Now below here is all of these Samsung patches that were pushed off, you know, pushed off. So there is some of them that are high. Now, this one right here is for the vulnerability in decon driver. Don't know what that means. Uh, this one is gonna be a vulnerability inside settings. This one was moderate. So in terms of settings, it was the auto power off uh, or auto power on off confirm dialog. Uh, here's this one. This is for the security settings. That one was moderate. Here's one right over here for the system UI. And if again, you wanna to try to go through it and read what it is, it's for the phone status bar policy. So there was an update pushed out there. Vulnerability fix inside of Bluetooth, which was moderate. This one right here is for the Galaxy themes service. This one was high. Uh, Exynos baseband. So this one's gonna be for the Exynos chipsets out there, not really the ones located here in the United States. Another update here for the Samsung keyboard. This one was moderate. So again, you can go through, you can take a look at some of these if you would like to, but that is how you're able to see what is all being updated, some of the bugs, some of the vulnerabilities, how much of it was from Google, how much of it was for Samsung. Uh, but that was everything for this update here. Again, this update was pushed off for the Galaxy S23 series, the S20 series, and the A53 5G. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video a little bit more in-depth than before, but hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.